In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Reed Wrangler flat ergonomic mouthpiece. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. I want everyone to know I am not sponsored by Reed Wrangler in any way. Uh, the gentleman who makes these has no idea I'm making this video. I just wanted to share my thoughts on a great product with you guys, because I think it could do a lot of people a lot of good and... It's a quality product. So today I wanted to take a moment to talk about one of my favorite products on the market. It's Gifford's Flexible Ergonomic Bagpipe Mouthpiece, but more commonly known as the Reed Wrangler, available at www.reedwrangler.net. So these are really quite cool. You can see they're very flat. They have a metal insert and they are not very tall at all. They are significantly smaller in height than even say an Airstream or other oval. This is pretty much just flat and yet I've noticed no restriction in airflow. A few years ago I was actually starting to have dental problems using the standard round mouthpieces that everything comes with and even the oval style mouthpieces were still causing too much stress and movement of my teeth after so many years of playing so I was instructed to try to come up with a different solution. I had seen these around for years on other people's instruments and I thought it's a good enough time to try it and maybe it can help with the dental issues I was having. They fit over any existing mouthpiece, so they're very flexible. It's quite long, as you see from the factory, but you can cut them down. You can see here I have this on my blowpipe here with a zip tie to make sure that it doesn't pop off. They're available in a gloss finish and a matte finish, and to be honest, I don't really have a preference. I have one of each on my existing ones, and you can see after a few years I have finally worn through and you can see the metal that is part of that insert um, just from rusting against my teeth, but that's fine. This thing is several years old. I am not complaining at all. I don't need any sort of additional um, protector on the outside of it because it's quite soft and comfortable in the mouth. So there you can see them in place on existing blowpipes. But how would you go about putting one on yourself? Well, I have, here's a practice channel top. These fit on all sorts of anything. You would just put it on as such. Now you can see here, even on this, it's really quite long. The end of the mouthpiece is here. I'd probably cut a little bit off the bottom before inserting this. Now one thing to be mindful of is it is going to add about three quarters of an inch to the end of your blowpipe. So if your blowpipe is already the perfect length, you may want to consider getting an additional mouthpiece, something maybe not as fancy as something like this, something that's just a black plastic mouthpiece such as this one right here, and making it either ordering one three quarters of an inch shorter or um, cutting it yourself because you're not gonna actually see the end of it. But if you like the length of your blowpipe, it will add some length, so keep that in mind. One of the biggest benefits though is once you put this on, you're going to be able to play longer. Everyone I know who has switched to a Reed Wrangler mouthpiece here immediately notices that their longevity on the instrument just goes through the roof. You can play probably nearly twice as long. Now, I don't have any scientific data to back that up, but that is a lot more comfortable than having to purse your lips all the way into a circle. A downside of any oval or flat mouthpiece is that you do have to make sure that the angle of the mouthpiece is correct so you're not going out on the competition field with your head sideways. Houston Highland Games 2004 with silver thistle pipes and drums, my um, at time Airstream oval mouthpiece had gotten twisted and I didn't know it. We were striking in, it was too late and I had to play in the front line with my head at an angle for the whole, I was pretty sure it was the medley. But in any case, um, yeah, that was not a good look. Now, some people look down on folks that don't use the round mouthpieces. I don't know if I entirely get that. Um, you're not really gonna see it anyways. And if it allows you to play longer and more comfortably, I have no issues with that. Anything that gets us spending more time on our pipes comfortably, making music is something I'm gonna give a thumbs up to. It's easy to cut. I wouldn't want it like trying to, it can kink over as you see here. So I wouldn't like try to put it on like here and extend your blowpipe out and have all of this loose. I have a feeling that would just be too floppy. So cut it to where you need to. There's plenty of material here. So even if you have a crazy long uh, top of your blowpipe, top of your mouthpiece, you could you know, fit it here. But you're likely going to again be cutting it down to a more reasonable length like this one right here. 
Well, there you go, everybody. The Reed Wrangler ergonomic flat mouthpiece. I'm an enormous fan. It has really helped my, well, oral dental situation here because, again, I was starting to get my teeth moving and shifting from the round mouthpieces, so this has been kind of a lifesaver for me. I have it on my two main blowpipes right here, and I even now have some replacements because, again, I'm starting to wear through these after a few years of, you know, daily playing. As you can see in all of the video clips you just saw, I'm using the Reed Wrangler in all of them and you probably didn't even notice before. So the Reed Wrangler mouthpiece, a great addition, lets you play longer, it can be very comfortable. So if your round mouthpiece is causing you fatigue in your face or you're not able to keep a seal for as long as you might like to, consider the ergonomic flat Reed Wrangler mouthpiece. Well, thank you for watching everybody. If you got something out of the video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and sharing with any other pipers you think might could get something from this. I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month goes a really long way to helping support the channel. You'll see some names scrolling up here of folks that contribute monthly to the channel. I'd love to add your name to this list. There's often early video releases and other such perks, so go over to the Patreon and check that out. I also give Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.mattpiper.com or hit me at the email you see right here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of Command Your Bagpipe merchandise such as the shirt I'm wearing here and coffee mugs and even this great pillow you see under here. So you can never have too much bagpipe merchandise in your life. So go ahead, check that out. Link in the description below. Go get some bagpipe merchandise and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. All right, everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and until next time, cheers. Cheers.